Scotland is home to some of the world's most unique airports, but one stands out above the rest, and that is Barra Airport. Barra Airport is known for its unique beach runway, being the only airport in the world that has a beach for its runway for scheduled flights. So that is what we are doing this week. We are taking a flight on Logan Air, Scotland's airline, from Glasgow International Airport over to Barra in the Scottish Outer Hebrides. But we start this video with something very important. Ah. So today, we are taking a flight that has been on my bucket list for a long time. It is, of course, you can see from the title, the famous beach flight from Glasgow to Barra. So without any further ado, let's have morning coffee, let's get ready and head over to the airport. And jump on the, uh, I think it's a 50 minute flight, over to Barra to land on its famous airport beach. Anyway, let's go. Logan Air operate two flights a day to Barra Airport from Glasgow, and we are on the morning flight. Getting into Glasgow Airport, I decided not to waste any time and headed straight through security. Right, so, made it through security. A lot of security in Glasgow today, don't know why, but yeah, made it through um, just to I think check-in is just opening, but it's a pretty short check-in. Um, so just gonna go and see if we can get a cup of coffee and then, yeah, just chill for a bit and then get on the flight. So a bit of information for you that if you don't know much about this flight, this flight to Barra is one of the special flights in the world because Barra Airport itself is, I think, the only airport in the world where beach is used for scheduled regular flights. I think it's the only one in the world. There are other airports where a beach is used as a runway, but uh, this is the only one where scheduled flights come in and go regularly. And of course this flight is operated by Logan Air on one of their twin otters. Logan Air operates three of the twin otters for routes to the islands from Glasgow. All right, let's see about getting some coffee. I think maybe just go for cheap coffee today because I've already had the morning coffee, so yeah, just go for it and get cheap coffee. Actually, I think I've decided on Eggs Benedict from Frankie and Benny's. So, yeah, I want something decent for breakfast. I kind of forgot my priority pass, so yeah, gotta do that. Anyway, let's go get some food. Yeah, I think Eggs Benedict and a coffee and a glass of water because for some reason it's really hot in the airport today. Really warm. I don't know why I'm sweating. But yeah, really warm in the airport today, but yeah, egg benedict and some coffee and ice water. Got about an hour before we need to really head to the gate. Um, I don't think the gate's even announced yet. No, not really. So yeah, we'll just do that. My food has arrived. My egg's benedict. Right, had food, let's go find the gate now. Right, they say the gate is gonna be displayed at uh, just about 10 minutes before the flight, so I think I'll try and find it. Uh, I've got a good idea where it's gonna be anyway. Hopefully we'll get on the one that's decked out with the Scottish flag colors because I think that'll be pretty interesting because we've got plenty of chances to get on the other ones, but to fly that plane into Barra, I think that would make it perfect um, to fly the the one in the special livery. This uh, flight has been on my bucket list of flights to do for the longest time. I can't tell you how long I've been trying to get on this flight because it's such a novelty with the beach being a scheduled airport, the beach being a runway. It's It gets booked up really quickly, um, so yeah. I was so lucky to get it in summer period, where hopefully the weather will clear up a bit. It's a bit overcast just now, but hopefully over in Barra, the weather's better, a bit more decent than the overcast that we've got just now. Yeah, if you actually go on any sort of map service, Apple Maps, Google Maps, whatever, Bing Maps, if you use that, don't know who does, but if you use it, you'll see that the Twin Otters usually take off from the furthest ramp um, the furthest jetty where gate 1 and gate 12 is 
So that's where I'm going to go and try and hang out for a bit. And I can actually see the Twin Otter in the special livery. Um, I'll try and get a photo of it. Yeah, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. Because the website doesn't tell you which one you're on. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping is this one that we're on. Getting to the gates, the last of the morning flights were just departing. And waiting at the stand was our aircraft today, this Twin Otter, with the other returning shortly after from a flight to Campbelltown. Okay, I am actually getting a little bit excited now because that is the Lewis Harris flight leaving to Stornoway. And the only plane the ground crew are working on is Little Blue over there. Yeah, twin, the Blue Twin Otter in the special uh, Scottish Saltire livery. So getting quite excited that we might actually get this plane. Yep, and we're departing from gate one. Okay, it does look like we're gonna get one of the special livery planes, thank goodness. Really looking forward to this flight. This has been on my bucket list for literally years to do this flight. So yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully it goes off without a hitch. We're departing from gate one, we're on the special livery plane, and we're landing on a beach. I could not be happier right now. So that's the first time I've ever had an announcement like that for a flight. Flight's delayed by half an hour, but tides in. Oh, I'm loving this so far. I really am loving this. Cheers. So it looks like we got what we wanted. One of the special livery planes. Oh, so happy. Yes. Getting on the Twin Otter, the seating is a 2-1 configuration. Oh, sorry, I'm in there. Thank you. On board? My bucket list of sights. Once all on board, the door was closed and we were given a quick safety demo. And then, unlike other aircraft in Glasgow, the Twin Otter isn't pushed back but reverses under its own reverse thrust. Once reversed, we taxied our way out to the runway for our short flight over to Barra. I also really love being able to see the cockpit on a Twin Otter. Lining up on the runway for takeoff, just listen to the noise these engines make. It's just an amazing sound. Taking off out of Glasgow, we begin our 45 minute flight over to the Isle of Barra.
breaking through the clouds, I was worried that this trip was about to be ruined by the amount of cloud cover. But slowly and steadily, the clouds did begin to break up. And once they did, the views were epic. Saying goodbye to the mainland and the inner Hebrides, we crossed the Sea of the Hebrides towards Barra. I also noticed this RAF P-8 Poseidon, performing some very low manoeuvres over the sea. After crossing the Sea of the Hebrides, we were approaching the Isle of Barra and began our descent into its famous beach airport. Just look at the colour of the water as we make our approach. It feels like we're descending into the Maldives or something. After one of the best landings I've ever experienced, we arrive into Barra and taxi our way up the beach towards the terminal building. And once at the terminal building, we were all allowed to disembark onto the beach. The feeling of stepping out of an aircraft and onto a beach, honestly, is quite strange, but in a good way. Located at the top of the beach is the Barra Airport Terminal, which at the time of filming is undergoing a terminal expansion and renovation. I love the method they have for depositing the bags. This is baggage reclaim. And you just, a, a car just brings the bags 
up and deposits them in that bus shelter. But anyway, we've only got a couple hours here, so what do you think we can do in a couple of hours? To be honest, I'm not even thinking what I'm going to do. I haven't even been thinking about it because that flight was just brilliant, wasn't it? Absolutely amazing. Tell you what, man, I am gonna do. I'm gonna get a photo of the plane. This definitely has to be the most picturesque runway I've ever seen, or three runways. Barra actually has three runways in the sand. Okay, so we got a got a little uh, picture of the aircraft. Our emergency vehicles only. How do we get through there? Keep this gate shut. So how do we get? All right, there's people over there. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, this is absolutely beautiful, this place. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely gonna ask her and see if I can get around the front of uh, the uh, plane there. Uh, take a photo with the terminal in the background because that would be an amazing photo. Um, as you can see, probably for the big jumbo jets that are gonna land here soon, they're doing a terminal extension at Barra. To see that amazing beach we saw on landing, the terminal staff told me that there was a path right opposite the airport. I'm gonna need to take my coat off. I mean, there is not a breath of wind and I'm roasting. Absolutely roasting. No weather data. Mm. Oh, that's because I'm still in flight mode. I thought that was to be expected as to the islands, but uh, that's a good point. See what kind of internet we get here. I bet you it's better than what I've got at home. I bet you it is. Wow, look at the colour of this sand. It is just pure white. That is not a sign you'd get anywhere else. Kite flying not permitted when the airport is open. <laughs> so it is allowed on the airport grounds, just not when it's open. That's brilliant, I love it. Oh, get to the top of this hill and take my coat off. I'm roasting. Worth it though, this place is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Walking through this bit reminds me a bit of Stonehaven Beach. Not Stonehaven Beach, what am I on about? St. Cyrus Beach. And you've got all the sand dunes held together by this stuff. This is why I love aviation. I mean, look at this place. I'm on a day trip to this. Holy crap. I think I could be happier than right now. I know I said that on Grimsey, but it's true. Moments like this. Just moments like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now right, let's go walk down the beach a bit. And then we will get back on the plane, see if the cafe's open. It looks like they're doing renovation, and like I said, they're doing a terminal expansion. Soon get your Emirates A380s landing at Barra Airport. You know, they got to have the, the jet bridges and the stands. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this, wow. Look at this. Right, there's some funny looking rock formations over there. I'm gonna go have a look at those because there are some really funny looking rock formations over there. Yeah, let's go have a look at those. Now in case any of you are wondering why I'm just here on a day trip and I'm not spending a, a few nights here like I normally would if I was leaving like mainland Scotland. Um, well, the reason is 
You can only book two nights at minimum on Barra, which isn't a big deal. I would happily stay here two nights, but uh, I'm coming back here for another video. Not on the plane, but a different way. So I'll let some of you try and guess that um, because that's also a, a unique uh, video. That's for you to find out later on. Yeah. Uh, we're coming back here, gonna stay a few nights and explore around Barra and some of the other Hebridean islands. Um, we'll be doing a lot of that in this year and next year as well. We are gonna be doing so much on the Hebrides next year. Um, this year, just getting some of the main, the main Scottish attractions out of the way with um, so that I can focus on the ones that I want to do really badly. This one is one of the ones I've really wanted to do. One of the other videos we've got coming up is the, the Harry Potter steam train, the Jacobite steam train for all you Harry Potter fans out there. We've got the last ticket of the season. Last ticket of the season. So we're doing that at the end of this month. But uh, yeah, gonna get that one done, gonna get that out of the way with. Then we can focus on things that I want to do for the channel. Show off some things I don't think people have seen before in Scotland. So that's the plan. This year, get our big trips over the way with, and then we can do some good Scottish trips next year. But anyway, just look at this. You'd think you were in the Maldives or Sri Lanka or the Caribbean or Seychelles or something like that. Not Barra or Scotland or the Hebrides or the North Atlantic. But that's what that is, that's the North Atlantic. It may look very nice though, but I wouldn't go and swim in it. I've done that before. That didn't work out well. I lasted about 30 seconds. I was about 11. Lasted about 30 seconds and then I had to get out of the water. This sand is so soft. Probably just because it's all munched up shells. But look, look, look at that. Beautiful. Look at how gorgeous this is. Huh? And there's like five people on this whole beach. <sighs> Could do a wee campfire. Camp here. Well, maybe not here because this is where the tide comes into. But maybe up there. A wee barbecue. A few whiskies. Watch the sunset over there. Oh, that would just be heaven. Look how clear this water is. I mean, look at it. I mean, I'm basically stepping in it now, but. Yeah, you can see all the water retreating. The tide is just rushing out now. All the water is retreating. I hope it's Little Blue that comes back and gets us again. That's why I've named the plane, by the way, Little Blue. These islanders are quite, quite clever. They've put a creel, a lobster pot creel thing to show people where the path is so that people don't just walk up and down the entire um, dune. That is very, very clever. So he's putting some ungamely sign up that you have to walk up and down to see. See the lobster pot or the creel, whatever you want to call it, you know where the path is. Good thinking that. And it blends nicely with the environment. I like those kind of touches. I like that. This is absolutely gorgeous. I wish the cafe was open. I'd like to, <laughs> at least for the couple of hours I'm here, put some money into the local economy. I don't want to be one of these people that just go in, don't spend anything and then leave again. I want to put some money in, but I can't think the cafe is closed. It's a bit annoying. My plan was to come here, have lunch and then fly back. 
Oh well. Might just need to do it again. Yeah. But anyway guys, what did you think of that flight? What did you think of that beach? What are you thinking of Barra? It's absolutely gorgeous. I've said that about three million times now, but it's true. It's absolutely amazing. And listen, listen. Nothing. It's so quiet. So peaceful. Even the road just there, there's cars going up it. But it's so quiet. I think I'm going deaf or something, but it is just that quiet. Apart from the little birds. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Just chirping away. But yeah, you can definitely see that they're doing some expansion work on a terminal. We might have to come fly back into it once that work's done. <laughs> so I've done this flight, might have to do it again. Um, yeah, once I've done the work on the terminal. Wow. As you can see, the terminal will have a brand new cafe and check-in area. Obviously, due to the work, they weren't open today, but the vending machines were working. Right. So I got myself a drink and I had crisps at least. There was a vending machine that was working. Yeah, so I got a iron brew and a bag of red and salted. So, yeah. Go and consume this now. bench over there. <clears throat> this isn't a bad day. It's definitely up there is one of the better ones. Cheers. If you'd like to buy me my drink and support videos like this one, please consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description, and anything you donate goes straight back into making videos like this. One thing that also hits you when you're on Barra is the number of birds nesting on the ground all around the island. Uh, I'll leave a beautiful little bird alone. Say hello to the coos. Hello, coos. I'm getting the sense they don't like me being here. There's lots of them. Yeah, I'm getting the sense they don't like me being here. Must have nests or something nearby. Because I think that's what this particular bird does, it distracts you from where the actual nest is. That's why it makes a noise and the flies above you and things. It doesn't attack you, but it tries to distract you from where the nest is. Like, make predators chase them kind of thing. Hello, coos. Hello, coo. While on my small wander around, I noticed our plane once again arriving from Glasgow. It might just be me, but it is so cool to see a plane land and taxi its way up a beach.
Right, as you saw from that clip, our plane has just landed. So yeah, let's make our way down to the terminal. Oh, we're at the terminal now already. But let's make our way down to the plane, get on board and head back up to Glasgow. Or back over to Glasgow. I don't know where Barra is in relation to Glasgow. I know it's on the Outer Hebrides at the bottom of it, but I don't know if it's north, south, east. Well, I know it's east. No, west. Yeah, Glasgow's east of here. Don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's our plane back. Getting back to the airport, check-in was actually taking place in the car park due to the terminal renovation. So just waiting to get on board now. I don't know where the crew is. Probably going for a cup of tea or something. Yeah, the weather is just brilliant for it. I don't think there's anybody actually in the control tower. Yeah, it doesn't look like the terminal's in use to check everyone in. I think it's just going to be a case of take the documents on <laughs> in the car park and then walk down to the plane. Yeah, it's good. Once the aircraft was ready and the bags had been loaded, we were called down the beach for boarding. What I actually noticed is that this Twin Otter is actually the other Sal Tire Special Livery Twin Otter in Logan Air's fleet. Yeah, buddy. Perfect for you. You've got three seats. Perfect. Perfect. Right hand side. Perfect. Thank you. Once again, once we were all settled, the safety demo was given, the engines were fired up so we could taxi our way across the beach for takeoff. Taking off on our 45 minute flight back to Glasgow, we bid farewell to this beautiful island paradise. Approaching the Inner Hebrides and the Scottish mainland, we are once again in for some amazing views.
Landing into Glasgow and pulling up to the stand, that concludes our flight on Logan Air's Twin Otter over to the world's only beach airport on the Isle of Barra. Thank you for that. Thank you. And cheers. There we are. There's our little flight on the uh, twin hunter over to Barra. That was great. Flight. Trouble. Making my way through Glasgow Airport, what can I say about this flight? Honestly, what needs to be said really? It was a fantastic flight, easily one of the best aviation experiences you can have, and I would highly recommend this flight to you. If you get the chance, just book it, you won't regret it. I also need to say that the staff at Logan Air were also great, I really can't fault them. And I should let you know that this flight cost me £178 return, which to be honest I think is great value for money. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing and if you like the look of this flight then you should also check out this video here and as always people we will see you all in the next one